Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This cataract appears to be an intumescent cataract. Intumescent cataracts are challenging because the intraventricular pressure is high and as soon as one tries to do capsular axis, the axis tends to run to periphery and get lost under the iris. We call it Argentine flag sign. I have developed my own way of doing rexis in such cases. First I make the incisions and then stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye and then I wash the dye out and after that I inject 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose into the anterior chamber. Yes, only 2% SPMC. Here it is. So the antechamber has been filled up with 2% ASPMC. Now I introduce a 26 gauge band needle, incise the capsule, raise a capsular tag, I hold this tag and do a small rexis at this stitch. I don't try to do the Rexis, adequate size to Rexis at this stage. Now, after doing this small Rexis, I aspirate some cortical lens matter and thus I decrease the intra lenticular pressure. If you aspirate some cortical lens matter, the intra lenticular pressure decreases drastically and cataract behaves totally differently. Now after injecting visco, I take a vana scissor and make a nick and then use a utrata and enlarge these mini rexes to an optimum sized rexes. Yes is two staged rexis was described long back by Dr. Gimbel and I have used it so many times that I can see from my experience that this is a very efficient technique Whenever there is convexity of the lens, even then I use this technique. There are other techniques which are good, like you can use a high molecular weight visco like sodium hyaluronate and you can flatten the anterior surface of the cataract and then you can do or access. But my way is to use 2% ASPMC, do a mini rexis with 2% ASPMC, aspirate some cortical matter and then after injecting visco I enlarge the mini rexis into an optimum sized rexis. This technique has worked in all of my cases. Very rarely, say one in 200 cases, the rexis may run to periphery just after the first prick. But my technique is I prick it and immediately I turn the 
cystitome in such a way that it becomes a C fluff. And thus I managed to prevent Argentine flag sign. In this case, by this time, the nucleus has been managed and now cortical cleanup is being done with a 23G Simco. With my experience, I can say that this is a very safe instrument. With bimanual IA, you can catch the posterior capsule and you can cause a posterior capsular rent. May not be frequently, but on cinephile it may happen. But with Simco, if you use it gently and carefully, it will never cause a posterior capsular rent. Don't try to polish the posterior capsule with Simco. Use the irrigating probe and do hydro polish. In this case, this is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. It is being placed in the capsular bag. This is called hydro implantation because the antechamber has been kept formed by hydro, that is BSS. And now, this is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration on either side of these stab wounds. Yes, the side port on the right side doesn't need any hydration because I have not used it much. But this is very important to use the side port to make the C-flap. Now this is, I use a fluid gen to remove the visco from the corneal endothelium. And then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. After this final lavage, the anterior chamber is formed very nicely. And then the wounds are checked with cotton taped Janssen bard. Then few drops of moxifloxacin is applied with the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will encourage you to do two staged rexes in intumescent cataracts.